If you've ever tried at a realistic smoke or cloud zoom blender, you know it can be a hassle. So in today's video, I want to tell you about a new add-on called VDB Animator, which is a new toolkit that makes working with volumetric effects like smoke, fire, clothes, and so on easy and fun. It's basically a big library of ready-made volumetric assets combined with tools to animate them. And the ultimate edition even packs up to 188 different VDB files covering everything from clouds and fog, ranging from fires, explosions, and so on. So we've got a volume for almost every scenario. Without further ado, let's jump into the details. In practice, VDB Animator makes importing and playing volumetric sequences like smoke or fire simulations kind of simple. You can load one of its smoke or fire assets and see it animated right away in Blender's viewport. The add-on works procedurally, meaning you don't have to constantly bake or pre-cache the volumetrics. You can tweak settings and immediately see the results without the usual waiting. Even if you only have a single VDB file, or say a static cloud, the built-in turbulence system can animate it by warping its shape over time. And one thing I appreciate is how the add-on comes with a bunch of dedicated tools right inside Blender's UI. For example, it introduces a mountains function that lets you slide volumetric clouds alongside the shape of the terrain. There's also a cutting feature, which uses an image geometry to define where volumes should appear, basically allowing you to paint or scatter smoke on surfaces without manual alignment. And if you want a whole cluster of clouds, the add-ons clouds generator can clone a single VDB multiple times and transform each copy for you, meaning you can fill the sky with variations of different clouds in just seconds. And when it comes to animation, the add-on keeps things manageable with a flexible control concept called VDB Labs, essentially separate setups to organize different volumetric effects in one scene. For instance, you might have one tab for a cloud layer and another for a smoke column, and you can animate their behaviors independently while linking them if needed. You can even control complex effects like explosions by splitting elements into multiple labs. One lab handles the fiery explosion, and another the dark smoke, letting you tweak each component separately, and this is just one example. There's also a global wind parameter that you can dial up, which literally makes your clouds or smoke below as it blows by gusts. All these lap settings and effects integrate with Blender's regular animation system, so you can keyframe things like turbulence strength or wind speed, just like any other property when timing out your scene. And the add-on works with both Evian cycles, so volumes show up nicely in both, which is great because you can use Eevee for quick real-time previews and then switch to cycles for final high-quality renders. Also, the developer put a lot of thought into quality of life improvements. For example, there is a nebula generator that not only creates a volumetric nebula cloud, but also sprinkles in matching star points automatically, which I think is going to save you the trouble of setting up a separate star field. There's even a color mix feature for volumetrics, which lets you easily recolor or add custom color gradients to effects like auras or polar lights, in addition to maybe magical smoke, without digging into the shader nodes. Small conveniences like these can make the creative process, like, easier. All in all, VDB Animator is an interesting add-on. However, one thing I noticed is the price. As of making this review, it is a bit pricey, so I will try to talk to the developer to maybe get you a discount or even reduce the price if it is possible. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.